I can read the object of the bill is to give effect to the government policy of rationalization of government agencies and public expenditure. The justification for the bill has been provided in the background to rationalization and it raises the following fundamental issues which the committee interrogated. One, whether there are mandates overlaps between UCDA and MAIF. Two, whether UCDA has served the purpose for which it was established. Three, whether UCDA cost of administration drains the treasury at the expense of service delivery. While considering the National Coffee Amendment Bill 2024, the committee held meetings with stakeholders like Buganda Caucus Parliamentary Team, uh, Bugisu Caucus Parliamentary Group. We had Dutchmen from Buganda Kingdom, Bunyoro Kingdom, and other coffee farmers uh, organizations and groups. We also had petitions from others like Banya Kanungu Coffee Farmers Cooperative Union and others. The committee established that UCDA derives its mandate from the National Coffee Act 2021. Under Section 4 and 5, the functions of UCDA are to regulate all on-farm and off-farm activities in the coffee value chain, promote and oversee the quality of coffee along the value chain, support research and development, promote production and improve the marketing of coffee to optimize earnings for coffee stakeholders in the country. The committee notes that UCDA plays a pivotal role in overseeing coffee quality to ensure compliance with export contracts and international food safety standards. Quality management spans from seed to cup, which includes regulating planting materials, production, harvest, post-harvest practices, and processing to meet international standards. So, right honorable speaker, seeing the achievements of all these countries which have been successful with the agency model, Uganda cannot achieve much without applying the agency model and hence a reason to reject the Uganda Coffee Development Authority rationalization back to the, the mother ministry. Let Honorable Speaker, the minority report noted that mainstreaming of Uganda Coffee Development Authority will automatically nullify, as I have told you, UCD of Uganda as an international center of robust experience, excellency, and this will pose a risk to the implementation of the protocols with diverse effect on the coffee subsector such as the loss of market that employs 12.5 million households. Right Honorable Speaker, the Minority Report recommends that this Honorable House do reject the rationalization of Uganda Coffee Development Authority as, as it is going to affect the subsector and the entire economy, but also the 12.5 million Ugandans earning a livelihood, educating their children, and also sustaining their, themselves at family level uh, from the COP subsector. Right, Honorable Speaker and members, why the rush? Why the rush, Honorable Speaker and colleagues? Why take back a very critical and uniquely expertised outperforming baby back to the mother ministry that is in intensive care unit? Right, Honorable Speaker. Do we want to kill the coffee sector? Uh, what is in as intensive it care unit? Uh, uh, honorable members, you don't call us like you're in a national theater. What is in intensive care unit? Right, honorable speaker. Uh, uh, even the ineffective. Honorable and members. Right, honorable Di speaker. Listen. This ministry is under you. You do oversight over this ministry. So you, you left it to be under uh, I see you. No, we need to, you, we, we need to be honorable members. We need to be calculative in the words that we use. Huh? 
Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker, for your wise, gui your wise guidance. Right Honorable Speaker. So in which ICU can I get agriculture? Right Honorable Speaker, I, I withdraw the word. Right Honorable Speaker, there is a saying. Honorable Members. Right Honorable Speaker, I was Fla saying, Flavia. do we want to kill the coffee sector People as it has been with the tea, uh, ladies. the vanilla, tobacco and others? Right Honorable Speaker, there is a saying that if it is not broken, then do not fix it. If UCDA is not broken, why fix it, Right Honorable Speaker and colleagues? We should not insist on killing the institution we have built as parliament through an act of parliament. Right Honorable Speaker, the minority report therefore notes that the justification for rationalizing Uganda Coffee Development Authority is not reasonable and the 12.5 million Ugandans earning a livelihood in coffee demand that the bill entitled the Uganda Coffee Development Authority Amendment Bill 2024 should not be passed, it should be rejected by this Honorable House. Honorable Speaker and colleagues, I beg to report. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Abedi. Right, Honorable Speaker, UCDA, the main mandate of UCDA is to regulate all on-farm and off-farm activities in the coffee value chain, to promote and oversee the quality, and I want to underline the word, the quality of coffee along the value chain. Fourthly, government should put in place a fertilizer loan scheme to avail fertilizers to the farmers who need these fertilizers. Right Honorable Speaker, I've also, I've also proposed that government should expedite the establishment of the food and veterinary drug regulatory agency. And it should be this agency in the future where we put coffee and other food crops that need regulation. Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker. Right Honorable Speaker. There's a procedure matter. Procedure. Honorable Abedi, have a seat. Procedure. Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker. Right Honorable Speaker, we are discussing the bill. Either to rationalize or not. We are not in those nitty gritties of the advantages of the other side. So we need to know from Honorable Abed whether he's here to tell us to rationalize or not to rationalize, other than diverting us and taking us off the major topic. So through your office, Right Honorable Speaker. Is Honorable Abed proceeding in the right direction of misleading the whole team by proposing a creation of other, other things that are not necessary? Honorable members, you've heard from Honorable Abed. Right, right Honorable, allow me in a sentence to conclude. Right Honorable Speaker, I come, I represent the people of Masaka. We are a coffee growing area. I want to request the members of parliament that when a Honorable Member of Parliament is presenting, we should be calm, we should allow to listen 
And I want to remind you, we came here by our own right. Nobody should ever think that we, I can come on a microphone and you intimidate me. Honorable members, the people of Masaka. Honorable members, Honorable members, Government Chief Web. Honorable members. Honorable members, honorable members, we have two scenarios here. One, there are actually three. One, you don't rationalize. And when you don't rationalize, you, 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 you don't go into second reading. That's number one. Number two, is that you rationalize and go and and give it three years transition period and in the three years the minister will be required to bring a statutory instrument after the three years that is the second scenario the third scenario is a transition period of five years. Okay? Are we together? That is we are we are that's where we are. I will uh, honorable boy. Honorable Boa Medi Right Honorable Speaker, from the explanatory memorandum presented for the 14 rationalization bills, the rationalization bills are policy decisions of government implying under Rule 25 of the Rules of Procedure of this House, they constitute is, is priority also. of government. Now, therefore, right honorable speaker, with that justification, I beg to move that rule 204, sub rule 5, I beg to move. Honorable five. members. Sit, sit, sit. Honorable members. Sit, sit. sit. Honor right, right honorable on speaker honorable member hold on we are suspending to de allow debate we are going to allow debate allow debate o honorable members allow him to finish stop pointing him stop pointing at him like that Move the motion. Right, right, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Sereko. If Honorable Sereko. Honorable Sereko, you sit. The Member of Parliament for Kampala Central could listen a little. Rule 204. And, and honorable, honorable members. Honorable members. I will sit, but I will come. Let's have respect for each other. We are saying we want the rules to be suspended to allow you to, to debate. 204. Please hey. come and see. Come and hey. see. I'm holding the floor. I am on the floor. 
No, 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 no. I can't. You check rule 205. Honorable, can you sit? Can you have a seat? Suspend the rule. Suspend the rule. Um, right Sus honorable speaker. Suspend the rule, then we allow a debate. Yeah, we, must we shall allow the debate. Right honorable speaker. Yeah. Right honorable speaker. There's honorable a procedure. Speaker. There's yeah, a procedure. Right honorable speaker. There's a procedure. You, as you know, I am a servant of these rules. And I am afraid where we are heading. When the Honorable Semuju raised on a matter of procedure, Madam, you guided that the Honorable Hamson Obua is also on procedure. Quite skillfully, ingeniously, but also dishonestly, the Honorable Obua did not move on the procedure, but went on motion. Secondly, Right Honorable Speaker, why I'm even more afraid okay, what when, is you the guided, when you guided that we are going to amend the rules. I got scared. To suspend, I, I, to suspend the rules. To allow debate. Yes. I do not know how you knew that the Honorable Bua was moving to suspend. Is it not procedurally right? Is it not procedurally right? that you first take the procedural question raised you, by a you member. Raise, you raise the procedural no, question. No, the, the, is it not procedurally right that you allow the member first to move you a procedural issue? You raise the procedural question. I'm not moving a second procedural no. issue apart from Thank the one you. I've moved. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker. You know, I knew that it was going on 204 because you taught, you taught a brilliant person. Madam Speaker. <clears throat> yes. Madam yes. Speaker. Madam Speaker. Uh, honorable members, whether you shout, I'm not a social scientist. Madam Speaker, I have <clears throat> I have taken Honorable Members, can you listen to the procedure matter? Madam Speaker, I have taken oath as an MP here at least three times. Each time taking two oaths. The first, the oath of parliament. The procedure issue I am raising, Madam Speaker, relates to so I am waiting for members to keep quiet. <laughs> I have on three occasions taken oath here, one of them being the oath of parliament. And I think every MP has. We just define numbers. That oath assigns me a responsibility to protect the institution of parliament because without it I am not there. Madam Speaker, the reports have been read. We took a decision here as an institution of parliament and said, coffee, no. Wait, you former with the creation staff. <laughs> we took a decision here. Madam Speaker, members allow honorable yeah, uh, rules don't so allow MPs to just walk like they are in a corral that they just move around like this. Rules don't allow. <laughs> Madam Speaker, the oath, the oath that I took, especially the one of Parliament, 
And I want you to rule and address this matter, Madam Speaker. This parliament passed a budget here. Just by a dot, by Mr. Seven, you came here and changed it. You said, Coffee Development Authority must not go, and you took a decision here. I now sympathize with people who will be reading the answer of parliament. Okay, they are going to ask simple questions. Was this the same parliament? Which kind of parliament is this one? That you take a decision today and tomorrow you come and fall on each other. So the question I am asking, Madam Speaker, the procedure issue, and I will be patient until the MPs who are taking your attention have all left your chair. Madam Speaker, the issue I am asking you to address. You ladies, why are you fighting for Bala? So the, yes. the, the procedure issue I am raising, broadly and for the integrity of this parliament, I have listened to all the reports. None of the reports is speaking about the fact that a decision was made on this matter. We now congregate here to rescind our own decision, the way we did with the budget. I am asking you, Madam Speaker, whether the MPs, one by one, not collectively, but one by one, who took one oath of parliament that they will respect this institution. What, what is the procedure matter? You I, am, I was laying the preamble. Whether, Madam Speaker, we don't need to first address what is now growing as a habit that this parliament can take a decision, it arm twist, they arm twist it, we come running and change it. That's the procedure issue I am raising. Whether this parliament can continue doing what it is doing, that you take a decision. When you are shouted at, you come running and overrun your own decision. Nobody has been shouted at. We have taken decisions here. The, the bills are returned and we pass them again. And if this decision was made and it was returned and said we need this bill to be passed, why are we fearing to pass it? It is in our rules. Yes. Honorable Semuju is questioning this parliament that uh, a few months ago this parliament moved a motion that UCDA shouldn't be rationalized and that it should stay. The same parliament today made a decision that NFA, which had been uh, served by this parliament today, the same parliament said that NFA goes. Does Honorable Semuju have the moral authority to say that this parliament just changes when he himself has just changed from FDC to a new party which cannot have even five members? Honorable members, honorable members, honorable Bua, honorable Bua. Whom are you ordering now, Haji? Right, honorable speaker. Uh, For clarity and emphasis. Let 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 Honorable Semuju. Madam Speaker, I'm moving under Rule Two Two Two, which talks about reconsidering the decision of the House. The rule provides that it will be out of order to attempt to reconsider a specific question upon which the House has come to a conclusion during the current session. I'm acutely aware during this current session, 
we came to a conclusion that UCDA should not be rationalized. And, and it is on record of Hansard. The rule guides how we must move if we intend to reconsider. If you are buying time, you will sit here up to midnight. Madam Speaker, I, I am entitled is no, to, you to reconsider to the NFA. You reconsider the NFA. Wasn't it passed in this very house? We we proceeded on NFA with full and blatant violation of the rules. I raised an issue here that we cannot. I raised an issue here that we cannot proceed without amending, without without moving that this rule should be sub suspended. And nobody listened to me. And we are suspending so, so the rule. This house, this house, Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, we don't need to do double standards here. These rules are written for our guidance, and you are a custodian of the rules. Honorable uh, Kotogong, you have not ruled on my matter. It, it because it doesn't deserve a ruling. It does, Be uh, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, you had given me to raise a point of uh, order. Madam Speaker, yes. If, if you Our allow rules me. are very clear. How a bill is processed. Is it allowed that a member can talk when another one is on the floor? I've been invited the speaker. On the floor, I have a right to speak. Uh, are you the my issue must be ruled on. Honourable Ole, please sit. Uh, ma to our rules of procedure. There is a clear process of how Parliament processes a bill. A bill is tabled to Parliament, it is referred to the committee, it is debated and passed, and is sent to the President. And the President can agree or disagree with certain provisions. And the bill can be returned. And the President has just returned the bill without comment that there are certain provisions that is not comfortable with. And that is what Parliament is discussing. I think this is very clear. Uh, 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 Andrew? Andrew? Uh, Madam Speaker, I'd reason yes to give information to Honorable Court Felix Okotogong because if you look at Article 91 of the Constitution, the President actually didn't return the bill. The House collapsed that bill. So we started afresh. I don't want to give information that was not returned. Yes, we started the, the bill afresh. Yes, Kimosho. Thank you very much. Right Honourable Speaker, regarding the issue he raised about the session of Parliament, the Constitution, of Uganda, the, the Constitution of Republic of Uganda, uh, Article 97, 97. About the session. Session is after yes, one year. Yes, Article 95, Clause 4. A session of Parliament shall be held at least once a year, but the period between one session and the next session, the following session, shall be less than 12 months. Yes, uh, are you? Are you? Honorable members, can you listen? The section that Honorable Lee raised does not apply in this case. It doesn't. Right, right Honorable yes, Speaker. Yes, uh, Lee, are you? Uh, honorable members. I think uh, Honorable Guzile wants to mislead this house. The bill, the first bill was presented to this house. We processed it. In some of the bills, we supported government position. In some of them, we rejected as parliament. It went to president. He declined to assent to it. And that died there. So, Government, first, 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 listen. Right, Honorable Speaker. Right, Honorable Speaker. 
government again reintroduced the bill that was gazetted in another number and it becomes completely... Diana, come back. So Diana, when, come back. When the bill was reintroduced... Honorable members, I want members in the house. The bill was gazetted, regazetted with a different number and it comes back to the house as a new bill. So to say the old, the old bill is the same going by that rule, right, Honorable Speaker, that would be wrong. It's a total new bill that we are processing, and I think we proceed and process the bill like we are doing another bill. Thank you, right, Honorable Speaker. But that's the reality. The other bill collapsed. The members imputing that I'm, I'm misleading the room, which is wrong. I'm addressing myself to a specific question. I'm not talking about the bill. The question before and for determination of the speaker is the issue of rationalizing the entity was a question that this house has, had come to a conclusion. There's a on. procedural issue so from uh, for you from to uh, so man. Right Honourable Speaker, I want to thank you. I, I think right Honourable Speaker, we are looking Shabe. And I want to seek your indulgence as the presiding officer to put us back on trail. There are three reports, a majority report and two minority reports. This house here is ready to debate the reports. Is ready to debate the reports. That opportunity is not being accorded because in your guidance, there is supposed to be suspension of rules. As we speak now, it seems we are now delving into the debate. Right wrong speaker, wouldn't it be properly right to guide us on the way forward in as far as the debate of these reports is concerned? Honorable members, I have said, let Honorable Government Chief Whip move a motion to allow us debate. Right Honorable Speaker, for clarity, Rule 204, Sub-Rule 5A and B reads as follows. The report of a committee on a bill shall be uploaded on the parliamentary information system for the information of members before it is laid on table. And B and more importantly, only be debated after the expiry of at least three days from the day it was laid on table by the chairperson or the deputy chairperson or a member nominated by the committee or by the speaker. It is upon this spirit that I stated that the justification for moving this motion falls under Rule 25 on the order of business in this house, where priorities are granted to businesses of government, rationalization bills being one of them. I therefore move that Rule 204, Sub-Rule 5B, be suspended to allow debate on the reports both majority and minority on this bill. I beg to move. Those in support of the rules, is the rule seconded? Is the motion seconded? Seconded by Omara, by Rita, Lanyo, by the whole side.